Welcome back. This is Information Service Engineering Lecture Number Two, Natural Language Processing Part One. This is an additional notebook we have prepared for you to try out also the techniques we have talked about on your own in this Google Collaborative Notebook. If you want to adapt it, please always make a copy of your own, save this in your own workspace, and then you can adapt it according to your likes. So this one, if you really go to the link that we have provided to you in the slides, this will be, of course, read-only protected. So I will give you a brief walkthrough and then you might try out everything on your own. So first of all, we have talked about tokenization, which is the process of separating character sequences into smaller pieces, which are referred to as po tokens. And to do this here in Python, we are using the so-called NLTK toolkit, so the Natural Language Toolkit, which is a nice library that we need here and that in the end provides you all of the nice things we want to play around with. So we have to wait a little bit until exactly everything has been loaded that we require. So everything is there and the first thing we want to try out is sentence splitting. If you want to try out and split a sentence, so here in the variable text we have an example sentence and you know already this sentence. This is again our sentence about um, Jean-Baptiste Joseph du Fourier when he was born and for what we was, he was probably best known. What we are doing there is simply we say we tokenize exactly this sentence and then we print out the sentence and what you see then here is, okay, we see here we have two sentences. First one, on March 21, 1768, French mathematician and physicist Jean-Baptiste Joseph du Fourier was born. And then the next one is probably best known for his work in thermodynamics. Okay, now next thing, let's try words, which means we do not sentence splitting, we do word tokenization. This is quite easy because here what we do then, we simply word tokenize exactly the sentences we have here in this, you know, sentence sentences uh, vector. So what we are doing here is simply try out and you see then, yes, the sentence is split according to words and also here uh, the punctuation is taken by a, a single token here and you can play around with it. So this was sentence splitting and words. You might try it out with other sentences, for example. Next thing we want to try out is this part of speech tagging. For that, we simply use the part of speech um, POS tag uh, method that is available here in the NLTK library. And we do this and we have still our two sentences in there. And you see here again, um, our um, sentence here has been complemented with a spot part of speech tag. So for example, March is a proper noun. Here 21 CD means this is a character. French, this means this is an adjective. However, again, don't worry about the abbreviations. Um, we will have this later on in the lecture. However, if you don't know about here, uh, about exactly these abbreviations, you can let them explain to you. So what exactly is an NNP? So this is a noun proper singular. What is VDB? This is a verb past tense and so on. You can simply here write and find out, you know, what exactly you don't know. So here, for example, we can try out JJ to see that this is an uh, adjective. So do it again. And you see JJ is an adjective or numeral or ordinal. So you can further explore this. Next thing we want to try to do, lemmatization. You remember, lemmatization groups words together that have different inflections, so they can be treated as the same item. So what you do there is you are using an online lexicon and you try to find the dictionary form of exactly this kind of word. So what you do here, you do import here a WordNet lemmatizer based on WordNet. We have here a sentence and we are using exactly this lemmatizer here and then for each token in our sentence we do a word tokenization again and we do a lemmatization for each single word so let's try to do this and you see here again our sentence however each uh, word you have here is in the dictionary form so for example um, 
Joseph Fourier was born. So was here exactly is uh, referred to as B and born is to refer to as bear. So it's nice. So this is then the dictionary form of all of the of the words you find here. Stemming is much easier. Stemming only strips the words of its suff suffixes, of their suffixes and prefixes. And the most, let's say, popular stemmer that exists there is the so-called Porter stemmer. For English, this is rather easy. And we use here exactly the method Porter stemmer, which is also here in the NLTK library. We have the same sentence. We apply here the Porter stemmer and then simply we show you what exactly will be the sentence after the stemmer has been applied. And you see here then, for example, that was, no, that's not really correct. So was simply there is the S yes, um, stripped away, but this is of course not a word stem. This is uh, not a morpheme. So here the Porter stemmer did not do a great job. And also let's say French words like uh, Baptiste is also not done correctly. So always take this with care. So there might be errors of course always involved. Okay, next thing we want to do, named entity recognition. This means we want to locate and to classify the atomic elements of the sentence into predefined categories. And these categories might be names, persons, organizations, locations. You have already seen this on our website examples with the core NLP. Uh, but here in NLTK, you can do exactly the same. And what you do here then, um, of course, um, you have your sentence here and you do first then uh, a tokenization, you do a post tagging and then you do named entity chunking. And the result of that you will see here again. So you have here again your words, the words again with the POS tag. And in case um, there is a named entity recognized, like for example here person Jean-Baptiste Fourier. So this is already recognized here as a person. So this is not bad, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Now let's try an alternative NLP library because this also was only text-based and of course you can reuse then the stuff here already in your programs. But if you want to visualize it nicely, we are using here another library. We are using Spacey, you might know that already. So I fulfill all the requirements. We download everything we need and now we import spacey here and we do this here in english and first we start with named entity recognition and here we do named entity recognition we do this here and we render the result then in the end and just have a look at the nice rendering that we can do here in this notebook and then you see here the sentence on march 21st 1768 French mathematician and physicist Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Fourier was born. So this is correctly identified as a date. So March 21, you see here. And then you have here a person, which is Jean-Baptiste and another person, Joseph de Fourier. So it wasn't recognized as one person, but you have two things which might be a person. So they belong here together. So this is also not 100%, but of course the visualization here is much better. Also, what you can do with Spacey is dependency parsing. So for that, again, you get here, first of all, um, a dependency parse in a text-based output. But of course, we can also visualize this here. Then we can render it here ex um, with uh, Displacey. And the visualization then is quite nice. So then you get a nice rendering to see which of the words belong together and what is the relation between these two words. So this is then a dependency parsing, uh, as we have seen also on the example on the website. Okay, this was our very first notebook. Play around with it, as I have told you, and I hope you have enjoyed also this more interactive and practice, practice uh, section of the lecture. And next, we will continue with the next part, lecture number three, which is then Natural Language Processing Part 2.